To connect Soldo to Zero, head to Integrations and then tap Add Integration. You'll then be sent across to Zero to log in and choose the organization that you'd like to link to. Once you've selected your organization, you'll be returned to Soldo to complete the setup. The next step will ask you to choose which Zero bank account you'd like to link Soldo to. Now, don't worry if you don't already have a bank account within Zero for your Soldo transactions. We can create one automatically during the setup process. It's important to know that you only need one Zero bank account for each currency that you have active within Soldo, irrespective of the number of wallets or users that you might have set up. Next, we can choose whether or not an attachment is required before a transaction's metadata can be sent across to Zero. Now, you can change this option later if you need to, and administrators can override this on a transaction by transaction basis if necessary. Once the setup is complete, Soldo will begin its initial synchronization with Zero, And during that time, we'll pull down things like your chart of account codes, your customers, suppliers, tax rates, and tracking categories. And we'll use this to populate your Soldo lists. Now, in Soldo, lists power the drop-down lists that allow users to add information against their transactions. This means that users can choose the correct Zero chart of account code or tax rate directly from within Soldo. Now that we've connected to Zero, we can start sending transactions across. For more information on exporting transactions into Zero, click on the next video, which should be on screen now, or check the description for a link.